End of an era, guys. End of an era. So basically, we're just cleaning in here, uh, tidying up. Remove my wonderful fairy lights. I kind of hope that I uh, don't rip off too much paint. That's about it. And then uh, I'm going to be putting this one up for sale. And that'll be it. Because it was September like 26th I moved in here officially. And just actually just started living in here. Not full full time. Because I did still have a shower and a house. But for the most part I spent most of my time in here. I don't know why it's a little emotional. Also, uh, after having the other one, I'm kind of looking in here and I'm like, how did I do this? <laughs> like, wow. Like, in comparison, this space just feels like teeny tiny compared to the other one. I don't know. I never minded living in here. It's just eventually I got to the point where I was just like, it kind of feels a little small now. Not really small. I don't know. It's hard to say that the space was small. It's just, you go into the other one now and it's like, that's a mansion. This is like a studio apartment. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I just realized I need a garbage bag. Yeah. <sighs> There's like my Canadian flag. Majestic. I, actually, I had one on this camper all last summer and uh, it ended up tearing. I think I had it in a video that it got teared, but. these little extensions because uh, it needs another step. I need like the six step. This is the five step version. Yeah. Okay. See what I mean? Then you like come in here and it's like just massive. Like to show a comparison. Ugh. Look at that. That's just huge. It's awesome. Okay, let's focus here. I gotta get stuff done. So lucky for me, the battery system is all intact and everything. I am selling the battery system with it because I'm putting a new one in that camper. This battery system in here is great. The solar recharges it like nothing. Like right now it's at 100%, no issues. But for winter, if you were for living in this, you still need a generator. And I don't know, I think anyone doing this lifestyle You'll have, unless you have like something like a massive battery bank and then like a really good charger of some sort, like a, I don't know, a 60 amp DC DC charger and you're able to drive for, and you usually drive for hours, which if you're in a bigger rig like this, you probably don't want to drive for a few hours every couple of days because that's a lot of fuel. It might just be cheaper to have a bigger battery bank and then get a campsite every few days rather than spend three hours driving and spend a hundred dollars on fuel. Just saying. Basically that's my plan anyways, but um, that's where the van's got us, I guess. Um, we are 21 miles per gallon, but hey, I have four wheel drive and 37. So there's that. And I have a mansion on the back of my truck now. But yes, I will not be taking this battery system with me. I'm gonna upgrade that one to a much bigger sized one. When I was about minus 20 out, I could get probably about three, um, three full days at most with the 200 amp hours. The new one's going to be about 400 with room to add 200 more. And I think 400 should be sufficient. Um, the 40 amp DC DC charger, we're going to figure that out and make sure that's charging it fine. And then after that, uh, I also have a inverter charger, which I'm hoping when plugged into like 30 amps, it'll be actually able to charge it up to 75 amps which would be awesome because then it would charge that battery bank like nothing 
and I could just get a 30 amp campsite for a night and for like one night a week if I have to, if it's like really cloudy or something and, or just find somewhere to plug in. So yeah, I'm basically doing this the same way I did the other camper, starting in one section and then working my way around the entire thing and just gonna clean the walls, everything. The guy who had this, they did a really nice renovation in here. Like this, these cupboards are nice and everything. Personally, I like the wood. I would have left the wood and just kind of worked with that and maybe did some nice curtains or something. Actually, the curtains that they did in here are complete trash. I don't not, I do not like the curtain. I don't like the curtains. Like this one only opened one way and you could only open half of this. And then like, yeah, they're on some like little line there and it didn't really do much to cover the entire window. So yeah, I didn't like them. So, I guess maybe while we're cleaning this, um, I'll talk about where I kind of started having this idea to switch campers. When we were in Whistler, you guys remember that? The big snowfall? How wonderful. I'll admit, um, I wouldn't want to have this camper on when going down that hill at that campground. I'm definitely going to think twice about where I go if there's a storm coming now because this is a much scarier thing to have uh, on the back going downhill because it is a bit heavier. I'll admit that, but it works on the truck and it's still safe. It's just a bit heavier. Yeah, when I was over there, I don't know what it was. I kind of... I had always wanted to go, I had never been in an Arctic Fox truck camper, and I knew that down there they had lots of truck camper dealers. Up in Alberta, it's kind of hard to find them, um, especially like around here. Like we'll have like here and there a few or whatever. Like I guess you can if you go into like Edmonton or something, it's not too bad to find. I guess Calgary too. Like they're all over, I guess. Yeah, within like three hours, there's lots over there. <laughs> But like trying to find uh going to, I just wanted to see inside an Arctic Fox, right? And it was on my way and I was just like, you know what? I'll just stop in and have a peek. Get in there. I looked at the 1140 and thought to myself, it was just such a bunch of wasted space. It was like the slide popped out and then you had room to have like a dance party. But if it was just me in there, all I thought to myself was, why do I need this much space? It's so much to heat. Doesn't make sense to me. So then I went over and looked at the 811, which is, I know smaller than the 990, but uh, the 811 fits in a short box. Nice thing about a short box, you could get, so wheelbase. Um, basically the distance between your axles. So if you have a long box crew cab, well, and if you go to a 990, you need a dually. Absolutely, positively, you need a dually. I know some people will put it into a single wheel. Personally, with that, with with an Arctic Fox, I definitely would not. They hold 50 gallons of water. That's, or no, yeah, it's 50 gallons of water. It's a lot. They have big tanks. Thinking about that, I was like, okay, um, well, look at the 811 over here. They didn't have a 990 there anyways. I looked at the 811 and to my surprise, I actually kind of fell in love with it. And there was like a short time there. I was actually looking to switch the truck and everything and go to, and go to that. But the price of everything to get into it was way too high. It would have been a new truck which probably would have been a gas truck because I didn't really want to spend the money on a mild out diesel. Cause, uh, I was looking at, uh, like a 2011 and up Ford 
F-350 and they seem to be like anything under like $30,000 was had like over 300,000 K on it, kilometers on it. And I didn't want to deal with that. I was like, my truck's fine. I like my truck. It's been really good to me, actually. I mean, some days I don't like it. Some days I'm upset with it. But I feel like every vehicle's like that. You have your bad days with it, right? So more to that. Um, I continued on um, thinking, okay, well, I'll just keep the truck camper I have now. And I don't know, it, it's not like it started dwelling on me, but I started like noticing little things. For one, the fridge size. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but. So here is the fridge. Like pan for comparison. It's okay sized, but what really sucks is for one, the eraser freezer that uh, basically you have to, to hold it up, you have to use erasers, which is fine too, it still works. But up here is your, oh, I need to wipe that out. Ooh. Um, yeah, up here is your freezer and it's not very big. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to host, well, if you're a person that likes to freeze uh, you find deals on meat and you buy a bunch and you want to freeze it, you can't do it with this one. My new one. That Arctic Fox 811 had a massive freezer and a massive refrigerator. And I was kind of envious of that. I was also envious of a 30,000 BTU freeze or uh, furnace. And yeah, I don't know. I like the Arctic Fox. I think they're an awesome camper. They're great. So I joined the Arctic Fox Facebook group and started listening in on some stuff. And then I kind of sort of like started to realize uh, it might not be the camper that I want. There's a lot more to seal on them, which there's still stuff to seal on mine. Don't, don't even doubt that for a second, but there's a lot more. And also I started noticing a lot of the older ones had delamination de issues. And I was looking at the older ones because that's all I can afford. I can't afford something brand new. So I was looking at stuff like 2006 and up to maybe like 2013. And I found they were about $5,000 cheaper than like a the same year of a Northern Light like 811. And in that case, I was just like, do I want a slide? Do I want all that? And I started thinking about it and I was like, the times a slide would suck is when you just pull over, you want to grab something to eat in the back. Not even that, because if I pull over and I want to just grab something to eat in the back, it's, not, it's nothing for me. Like I'll have lithium batteries and everything and you'll just hit it and, it'll, and open it. It's not a big deal. I feel like I've been cleaning the same spot for hours, but I'm just talking with you guys. So yeah, like I wasn't opposed to a slide or anything. Um, the times it would suck, I think were if I ever decide to park on like a side street or something like quick for a night, to me, it kind of sucks that you can't put out the slide or something because then you're blocking the sidewalk or something like that. And I don't know, I just, I'd like to be considerate sometimes. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever watched his channel, but uh, he doesn't do it anymore here. Uh, but uh, Taylor Desmond, I think he was a huge inspiration in me and truck campers. When I started looking up and looking for truck campers, I found his channel and I just was like, like I loved his uh, content and everything. And that's what he had, an Arctic Fox truck camper. And I always thought they were kind of cool. My favorites have always been fiberglass truck campers. And that's just because the simplicity and lower maintenance of the outside, I guess. I mean, I don't know how much lower it really is because I feel like there's still lots. So yeah, his channel, I would say, was a big inspiration to me, like, considering buying a truck camper i think it's been over like probably the last since like 2020 i've always just wanted to move into well just do this lifestyle and for the longest time it was a van and then i couldn't comprehend a van buying a van so because i just couldn't see myself ever driving a van um i don't know why i just i just don't like the idea of them I've always been kind of a truck guy or an SUV guy, so yeah. 
Um, and then I had the Jeep Wrangler and then I tried it with that for a little bit, but it wasn't like full time. It was just like road trips or whatever, whenever I could get out and just go do it. Um, yeah, I was just staying in the Jeep and living my best life. <laughs> it was definitely a lot more camping than what I would call this, but, um, yeah. And then after that first truck camper, I was just like, this could work. And then once we got this one, I was just like, you know, a person could definitely live in this. And I proved that you can. But the only other thing is it can be better in, a, in my other one. It's definitely better in that one. That being said, I don't have batteries or anything in that one. So electrical has been a struggle for a little while. And I've been very pampered with this one. Um, it definitely, uh, this one definitely, like, the electrical like having lithium batteries and like an inverter and everything like that and just being able to like basically have basically have a house on wheels that you can just plug in whatever that's a real game changer in this lifestyle <sighs> that out of the way. so to continue my story i went and started looking at northern lights again and i realized shortly after uh that maybe what I had was good enough and I didn't need to change anything. Except there was this one Northern Light. And it had probably been on Facebook Marketplace for about, I think since like October or November of last year. And I kept seeing it. I put it in my saved and I just kept waiting for it to just be sold and be out of my life and that be the end of it. I kept looking at it, I kept saying, no, it won't work, it doesn't have what I need, it doesn't have all the things that I want. And then I looked at it again, and I was like, you know, it actually does kind of have everything that I need and want. And it doesn't look in too bad a shape. But at the time, I was just like, nope, let's just not do it, keep what we have. This, is, this place has been good to me, I got it all set up and perfect for me. And so I accepted that. I accepted that I wasn't going to buy it until I looked at that Arctic Fox. And then I looked back at that one again and I seen it was still on there. Had no idea how or why it was still on there, but it was. And I pushed it off again because I just didn't want to drive all the way up there and do that. I did message him once to see if about a few things about it because I was thinking about just driving up and doing it. But I got no message back. So I said, whatever, it's probably sold, nothing about it. So I moved on and I started looking at Bigfoots. I know the one time I was like hunting for Bigfoot, but this is different. This time it was like just a truck camper, I swear. And when I started looking at Bigfoots, I soon realized they're, they're awesome, like super, they have, like if you want something like a compromise between like an Arctic Fox and a northern light i think the bigfoot is like the one to start looking at i mean they're similar the newer ones are definitely closer in weight to a arctic fox the 90s ones not but like by 1996 to 2003 they're pretty similar in uh like for weight wise you can find them with for about 2800 pounds to 2400 well, I even found one for that was only about 2,400 pounds. And that was with a dry bath. That's a 10.6. So they're awesome. And they have huge tanks on them. They have a 50 gallon water tank, but their gray tank and black tank are pretty small. They're like the size, like my gray tank on my new one here on this Northern light is 40 gallons. That's massive. I don't think I'll ever fill it because the water tank isn't that big. After looking at them, I looked actually went and looked at one, but it was smoked in and I didn't want to deal with that. They were asking more money and quite a bit more, probably about $10,000 more for a Bigfoot. And that was even older ones than this Northern Light I had seen. So I went back to it and I sent him a message. Dude, if you have this thing for sale, I got cash and I'm coming up and I'll come look at it and I'll probably buy it just reply to me and he finally did and he hummed and hawed the whole freaking time and then yeah he finally was like okay man come on up on i'll be around on saturday come on up 
And that's where we are today. Now it will sell. I feel like it should be sadder to see this go. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will be the day it does go, but like, I've never really had an attachment to objects. I'm not talking bad about this camper. This camper has been like, this camper is a rock. Absolutely like just awesome. Oh, now that it's nice and clean, I kind of do. Wow, it looks really nice in here. It's still small, but it looks really nice. Yeah, it's starting to look really nice in here. Uh, I should get going here soon. And you just about forget your passport in here. That could have went bad. Okay, well, because I don't want to overstay my welcome, um, I am going to go. I better put this curtain back up. Yeah, because it closes at 9.30 and I think it's, it's 9.03. So I better get going. Okay. Just gonna hop. There we go. Okay, got the light. I don't think I'm gonna do the sticker thing again. Mostly because that's probably the hardest part about leaving a camper is the stickers. And I don't know what's in my future, but I gotta find another way to hold on to the memories than putting stickers on a camper. guys i think that's gonna be it for this one you know not much was going on today basically just cleaning out the old camper um planning on making a probably a video tomorrow too um more so about the camper so yeah it's nice to get a build up of some content to continue creating and i think this weekend i'm gonna try to well i got lots to do so i should have lots of content like it's just but it's mostly going to be like camper maintenance videos, electrical systems, stuff like that. Because, uh, yeah, I have a whole new camper to build out, which is kind of awesome because I never got to show you guys that uh, with the other one. So if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.